Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. This video is going to be putting Dermacol Film Studio Berendo Prague makeup cover to the test. Now I'm sure you guys have already seen this all over YouTube and I am actually really bummed about this. I have actually hesitated about filming this because I am... I ordered this over two months ago and I've been sitting on it for over a month now. I actually had it before Jeffree Star put it to the test, before Casey Holmes put it to the test, and I'm sure there's been others who've put it to the test. I've only seen Jeffree and Casey put it to the test though, but I'm just, I'm so disappointed because as you guys know, if you guys have watched my TMI, or my best of beauty from 2016 I am half Czech so I like part of my best of beauty 2016 was that fresh on Cien from uh, that serum because it's made in a Czech monastery and I love finding anything that's made in the Czech Republic so I'm always searching for makeup and skincare that's made in the Czech Republic or Germany because I'm half Czech and I'm half German so to me when I can find makeup or skincare that's from the Czech Republic or from Germany I always want to try it because that's my roots I'm born in I was born in Canada, but I'm first generation Canadian and I just love, you know, reaching out and trying to find makeup and skincare from where my parents were born. And so I found this a couple months ago and I just, you guys know that I've had so many health issues going on and I've been battling out so many skincare products, so many makeup products. I've been putting to the test so many different foundations and I just had this sitting in one of my haul boxes because I've got like five haul boxes. I just haven't filmed. I've been waiting to like film individual haul videos and now I see this popping up more and more and more and there were other like little mini videos that I've seen that I didn't recognize the people and I was like I don't even want to film this because I almost feel like it's gonna look like I'm riding the coattails off of other youtubers or copycatting them and I never want to do that I always want to be original I always want to try to make original content and I know that's not always possible but in this instance I had this before those videos with at least those YouTubers went up so I'm really bummed about it but I thought I would put it to the test anyway because I know that you guys still really value my opinion and I'm still interested to see how it performs because it does come from my Czech Republic, my roots, my mama's place so I am going to still put this to the test for you guys but I am just really like down about it. So this is a waterproof foundation with an SPF of 30 and it is hypoallergenic and it is by a film studio in Prague. There is actually English writing on it so it says that it is uh, it provides perfect coverage even in thin layers not only for dark circles under the eyes but also for unpleasant spots and skin blemishes. It may also be used for the whole face in order to darken or lighten the skin, ensuring, ensuring ideal balance or for professional makeup, photo or film shoots, modeling or festive occasions. Apply in a small quantity, spread evenly, and for removal, use Dermacol cleansing milk according, I did not buy this cleansing milk. <laughs> Hopefully what I have will take it off. And we are just gonna go for it. I'm not using it as um, a concealer. I'm gonna go for it as a full face foundation and see how it works. I picked up shade number 212 
and it apparently expires March 2020. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom you guys in and we are going to get going on this application. But like I said, what excites me the most is that it is made in the Czech Republic. So I am all about supporting the Czech Republic and Germany. So if you guys ever hear of any products made in the Czech Republic or Germany, feel free to let me know because I am always willing to order from those countries because I love testing them out. This is pretty fancy pants packaging. This is like sparkly gold and it's actually texturized. And you guys know how I feel about anything metallic and gold, but I'm like obsessed with the packaging already. It also comes with a little pamphlet on the inside, which I'm sure is just repetitive. I mean, um, it shows you what their cleansing milk looks like that you're supposed to purchase. My mom would be able to read all of this if she was here right now. <laughs> yep. Where's my mama when I need her? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, well we're just going to go for it. And... Oh, here we go. Clinically tested, hypo hypoallergenic, high cover. Dermacol Makeup Cover is one of the first cover-up makeup products released on the world market. Its formula was developed in the Berendov Film Studios in Prague, and I love Prague. If you guys have never been, you like need to put it on your bucket list. I've been twice. It is just beautiful. The cobblestones, the old architecture, there is nothing like it. Prague is just out of this world beautiful. Oh, so it was made in Prague for professional makeup artists and subsequently used or sold in Hollywood. Its unique creamy consistency containing 50% pigments hides uneven skin color and blemishes, soothes the skin and gives a velvety matte appearance. Dermacol makeup cover provides the skin with intense protection against UV radiation, SPF 30, which you guys know I'm all about, as well as against the harmful effects of the environment. It can be used on the entire face and body for color correction, lightening or darkening skin tones. Apparently Romeo wants down, hold on. <laughs> or for professional makeup applications such as photography, modeling, and special occasions. Its long lasting effect is ideal for covering minor flaws or extensive skin defects such as dark circles under the eyes, scars, spots, loss of pigments, and blemishes. It improves the appearance of tired, pale skin, giving it a refreshing look and revitalized complexion. <laughs> really, boys? Applied over a base cream, it can be combined with other makeup products from the Dermacol range. Oh, I'm going to have to look up this whole Dermacol range. Makeup cover is water resistant and has been dermatologically tested. It is suitable for all skin types. So they actually have a makeup base and then they have fix the makeup with an invisible fixing powder. Oh, that would have been really cool to get. And then they have for complete removal that a whole bunch of different kinds of cleansing milks, elixirs, acne sensitive cleansing milks. Oh, all right. I am so looking into more of these products if this is good after we test this one out. Okay, so come sealed. Okay, and the lid has like that little pokey hole thing to like pierce it. Oh my gosh, I'm really scared. This color does not look like my color. No, oh, that might not be bad actually. I mean, once we bronze and contour and everything else, which I'll do not in this part of the video, but. So you guys, if you want to see how to get like, the, oh, that's, I, I didn't even give that disclaimer. I'm in the middle of a night tutorial, which is why my makeup is half done. So I just jumped, I'm right, I'm so out of it because I just had surgery a couple days ago. I have had, I'm like, 
my migraine is out of control. I'm on a lot of pain meds, so that's why I'm acting like a little funny. I'm talking funny. I'm not myself. So if you guys are noticing that, that's why. But yes, I'm in the middle of an eye tutorial and it's time for foundation, which is why I popped over into this mini video. So if you guys want to see how to get this eye look or anything else, make sure you hit the little subscribe button below. But I'm going to go in with my Morphe M439 brush and start buffing this out. Wow. That is blending out so easily. And that is giving such a beautiful finish. And you seriously don't even feel it. Like it doesn't feel heavy at all. Then I like to just take a beauty blender and go over the edges around my hairline because makeup tends to stain like two inches of my hairline so I like to just kind of blend out around the hairline and then go over everything like this. Guys, this is amazing. Like, I don't even feel like I'm wearing makeup, and that just gave such a full coverage. Oh, shoot. If you don't put the lid on right away, look how much comes out. All right, well, I needed to blend a little bit more down my neck anyway, but just so you guys are aware, put the lid on right when you're done. This is no joke for full coverage. Did you see what just happened there? I'm in love with this foundation. That literally just toned all of those freckles right down. All right, let's go in with some concealer and see how it performs over top, like the concealer performs performs over top of this. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape. This is definitely the wrong color foundation for me, but that is okay. I'll make it work once we get to bronzing and everything else. This is more test it out and it's so hard to pick a color online. Oh, I'm using a Morphe E20. I just looked at the viewfinder and I just saw I was out of focus. I don't know how long I was out of focus for. I hope it was just like a split second. I'm sorry if I was out of focus for longer than that. I don't know what just happened. But look how beautiful this finish is. I can't get over it. And I like what is really shocking me the most is that you cannot feel how like this Full coverage foundation you would think that something this like heavy full coverage you would like feel cakey heavy worn down 
and you don't. Like, I am floored right now. I just, I don't even, I'm, I'm shocked. All right, and for anybody who is newly tuning in, I'm sorry to all my fawns who have heard this a million times already. I'm doing a battle series. I've done a bunch of battle series of different products. Right now, I'm battling out a ton of setting powders. I'm finally getting down to my last handful. I know I keep saying that, but like I literally battled out over like 55 by now. I'm down to my last handful. So today I'm gonna test out the Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finisher. Just, yep, translucent finisher. All right, I was looking if there was like a shade or something, but apparently that's it. It looks like this. Um, I'm doing everything from drugstore to high-end to luxury one there we go so first I go in with a brush and I see if there's enough coverage or enough setting powder kind of setting oh my gosh if it sets well enough with just a brush and if not then I test it out with a powder puff and then I just hope to God that it doesn't like break apart the foundation or like leave patchy marks in the foundation so fingers crossed I'm using a Flower Beauty brush. I love this one. Okay. This looks like it might be breaking it up a little bit. Ugh. This also seems to be leaving a pretty dramatic white cast on my face. Like, I know it's white, but it says it's translucent. Then I like to take my Kat Von D number 25 brush to set under the eyes. It is breaking apart a little bit. This is not a good setting powder. It's not the worst one. I've had setting powders break apart way worse, but it is breaking it apart a little bit on the cheeks. And it's totally not setting it, setting it either. All right, let's try powder puff. Okay, the powder puff totally sets it, but it's also completely leaving a white cast. So this is going in the bad bin of setting powders. Yeah, it's breaking apart even up on the forehead. Ugh. Oh my god, you guys, it is so breaking it apart. Ugh. What a terrible setting powder. All right, Dermacol is a complete win. This Revlon crap is crap. Photo ready? Yeah, right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that this was still helpful and informative, even though this has been going around. This foundation is such a win. It is honestly so comfortable. I feel like I'm not even wearing foundation. It is shocking. I really wasn't expecting it to be this amazing. 
I am so pumped that this just totally wrecked it and has like broken it apart. It's driving me crazy now because the foundation itself was so good. So anyway, if you guys can get your hands on this, this is fantastic. And knowing that it is going to give you SPF and that it is waterproof, this is going to be an amazing summer foundation as well. So it is definitely worth trying out. I just know that it's going to be really tricky trying to find your shade because as you saw, mine was so much lighter than what I usually go for and I tried to get something darker than what I did pick up. But I mean, look at how it like even just evened out my skin down here because I'm like freckle galore. Like this is, this is good stuff. This is good. So you do get a little bit. I mean, it's only 30 grams. I don't know what that is. Is that an ounce? It's probably an ounce. It doesn't say. I bet you it's an ounce, though. You get 30 grams. <laughs> So anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you later. Bye.